Okay, hi, hello, how are you guys? Welcome back. So today we'll be doing another crochet tutorial. And to preface, last week I posted a video about making this Garfield for my son. And once Garfield was done, I realized that Garfield needs a Pookie. So we will be doing Pookie for Garfield today. Um, now, my son's birthday is tomorrow, so I was very, like, limited on access to yarn. Luckily, we did find a skein of yarn that I feel like is a pretty decent color. Uh, it's a, like, nice, nice chestnut brown. It is loops and thread. I don't have a ton of access to yarn near me. I have a Michaels and a Walmart, and that's it. Um, this is the color code in case you really like this color. But anyways, this is a jumbo yarn. It's terracotta, which I think it's a little bit more brown than a true terracotta, but um, it's jumbo yarn. It recommends 11 and a half, but because we're making a plush, I'm using an eight millimeter hook. I will also be using scissors for this, as well as a crochet needle here. And you will also need stitch marker as well as stuffing, of course. I also need pink, pink yarn uh, for the ears and like paw detail, as well as eyes. If you don't want to use safety eyes, you'll need whatever you prefer to use for eyes, as well as black acrylic yarn for the nose. I did not bring those down here to film this part of the video, but those are also included in what we need for this project. So I've already made some samples of what I need. So let's get started. To start, we're gonna make his body and head. In every picture I saw of Pookie, it looks like his head and body are about the same size. So we just need to make four equal size pieces. So I'm going to do my version of a magic ring. If you know how to do the magic ring, you are more than welcome to do that instead. I am just personally not very good at the magic ring, so I do a starting chain of four instead. And then I put my hook back into the very first one, pull through, and I have a little circle. And then the next step, I'm going to put six stitches into my work here. So one, this one always gets in the way, the tail. Two, three, try not to get like lumps and bumps like that, hold on. Three, four, five, So there is kind of like our first start here. I tried my best to keep the bumps down, but it is what it is right now. All right, so for the, I guess, first round, I don't think this counts as the first round. I'm not somebody who knows all the technical lingo of everything. Uh, we're going to go into our first stitch here, which if it will let me, so we'll go into our first stitch. Oops, Sharon's fighting me now. I had no issues when I did my other two pieces. All right, and we're gonna mark our first stitch so we know where we started. Then we're gonna put a second stitch into the same one. So we'll have two into one single previous stitch. Then go into this next one, going too far in here. And put two into this one for four stitches and go into the next one, five and six, all the way around. So you should have 12 stitches going back to here. This is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to do another round of the same thing. Since I think it's because of the hook size I use, if I were to not double up, it would curve kind of like it already is. 
but if I double up a second time, I will get a much flatter piece, which is what we want. So we're gonna do one, two, then one, twisted. One, two stitches into one, all the way around. So every time we go into a new stitch, we're gonna go into it a second time, then go into the next stitch, go into it a second time, and we're gonna go all the way around for obviously 24. I guess I shouldn't say obviously, but we'll have 24 stitches. And after you finish your 24 stitches on that round, you are done with this size. If you wanna make a larger one, of course you'll want to keep going to your desired size, but if you're making a smaller one, this is the size we're sticking with for now. So I'm gonna cut my yarn, I'm gonna pull it through, and then you need to make a total of four of these circles. Now that I have all four uh, pieces of the head and body, now I need to make the arms. So to make the arms, which I already made one to kind of figure out what I wanna do here, we're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna do a shorter tail. We're gonna do the same thing. Going to do either your magic ring or one, two, three, four, go into the start, then go into the center six times. So pull, oops, gotta get the yarn on first. Pull through for one, all the way around because it's starting to get tangled. Once you've done six, you're going to go into the first loop and then we're going to save where we're at and we're just going to put a single stitch in each stitch. So our first round will just have six stitches. And once I'm done doing that, I am going to flip it, but we are not done yet. We're going to go, we are going to do one more round. So I'm going to put my yarn back into my first stitch here. And then I'm just going to do another round of six single crochets. And once you finish your round, your arm is done, pull your yarn, cut your yarn, pull it through, and then do it a second time and you'll have two arms for Pookie. Next step is the legs slash feet. This one is very similar to the arms, but just a little different. We're gonna make them obviously a little chunkier in the arms. So I'm going to once again do my magic ring of one, two, three, four, go into the end, make your ring, and go into the middle, pull through six times, two, three, make sure it's nice and light, or uh, nice and loose, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do our first round. Make sure, because I always end up with extra, one, two, three, four, five, six, so, this is our first one, and we're going to put two stitches into this one. One, two, two stitches into the second one. One, two, and then two stitches into the third one. One, two, then a single stitch into the other three. So one, two, three. For a total of nine stitches, and we're gonna take our hook out. We're going to just do a single crochet all the way around for this one. So one, two, three, 
four, five, Once it stops fighting me, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we flip our work once we're done. Don't push the foot all the way out and, oh, actually I go around one more time. So you go around one more time of nine and then you'll have his little legs. We are now down to the last pieces that we need before we start adding detail, which are his ears. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different than the other ones we have made so far. This time we're only going to do one, two, three. Go into this, pull through, add an extra loop there. Then we're gonna go into the center and pull through four stitches. So one stitch, two stitches, number three, and number four. Now we have his little ear. Now when I cut my yarn, to pull the rest through, I'm going to take both of these like this and pull through all the way to make it a little bit more circular. But then we have all his ears, his body parts, and we're going to add some details. I'm going to start by working on Pookie's face. He has a little bit more of like an oval shaped nose. So I will crochet that. Well, I should say I will embroider, embroider that on here. I might crochet it then embroider it but we'll see I'm gonna play around with it then he has more oval shaped eyes so I'm not gonna use safety eyes I am gonna embroider them on here uh, just to make it look a little bit more like so for the nose which is quite small so you can't quite see it I did a starting uh, starting chain of four then I did three single stitches into it and that's how I got the nose all right, after a couple of tries, I think I got a pretty good face. His eyes are a little sunken, which I think I'm gonna slowly start working on some solutions just in my crochet overall to prevent that. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna just loosen up his eyes so they stick to the surface. And then next we have to add little pink detailings to his ears and his arms and legs. For the pink in his ears, I basically took some acrylic scrap yarn I had and I just did exactly what I did for his ear. I did three and then like tied the end together and made a circle which I will now stitch into his ear and I'm going to do the same for the other. I guess I should mention as well for the nose as well as for the rest of the pink detailing, I will be using a five millimeter. Once I have the pink attached to both ears, I'm actually going to attach them to the front of his head before I stitch the back to it. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just feel like it'll work out the best to be completely honest. I did the same like pink circle for all the limbs as well as the ears and now for the legs I am going to weave my yarn back and forth through here with my yarn needle so I'm going to go into each stitch only the very top pull through let me sit down for a second then weave through this way then just keep going back and forth till I get all the way back around to the start. And once you wove in back and forth through, you're going to pull your yarn tight and that will close off the leg hole. Now you can stuff the legs, but because this is so small, I'm leaving the legs unstuffed because it won't really make a big difference. Once you have your legs done that way, now you start assembling your pookie. All right, I finished pookie. I do need to stitch down that corner of his ear. And I accidentally stitched his arms and upside down. But yes, here he is. 
He's not perfect by any means. I think a lot of it has to do with just the size of him made it a little difficult because I wanted him to, of course, be small enough where he's kind of like a teddy bear for the Garfield I made. But either way, I like how his face turned out. And I think for me, I'm just like a more like fluffy yarn person. So I feel like the more I look at him, the less I like him. But you know what? I wanted to finish this because if you made Garfield, you have to make a pookie to go with him. Um, I think I might eventually... Because I do plan on going back and recreating Garfield in the future, and maybe when I do that, I'll get some fluffy yarn to recreate Pookie. But for now, here he is. He's pretty cute, and he's the perfect size for the Garfield I made. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!